Alright, welcome to another one of my terrible videos. So I got an email from an actual museum today and they were lacking a few discs and I actually happen to have them in my collection so I'm going to image them now so I thought I'd show you how I do my images. So we got the old Pentium 20 you saw in the other video, five and a quarter inch floppy and we're Dave Dunfield's image disc tool which is absolutely brilliant. Um, I use it all the time and it just supports a whole variety of formats. So I've done a couple of discs already, but the next one up is the IBM PC RT Diagnostics discs. I actually have two sets of these, which is pretty nice. So let's see if we can make an image. Read disc into file. And call it RT Diag1. Sorry, I'm just stretching over. And .imd. Uh, now it's probably, I, I guess it's probably better to use um, IMG format, you know, stuff that works with WinImage. I just really like this tool, so I just keep making the images with this. And escape. And enter to read. <coughs> and off goes image disk. So it's detected it's a high density disk and it's stepping through. Now image disk also has a um, alignment test feature which is very very handy if you're cleaning floppy drives um, what I like to do is run the cleaner through it and then I'll put in a fresh disk um, one that's been formatted in another machine and then go to the alignment tool and just see if you can read tracks and in the right position. So It's a very handy tool too if you're worried about whether your drives out of alignment um, not a problem on three and a half inch drives. I mean, if they play up, throw them away. But on five and a quarter inch drives, they're starting to get expensive, so you know, have to start paying a little bit more attention. We're halfway through now. Now this computer can't read these discs because they're IBM PCRT format, whatever format that is, but it's recorded in the same method as normal PC discs, so imaging it's fine, I just can't view it in DOS. And on the RT it's got special commands to read DOS discs. So that was perfect, not a single bad sector, 2400 sectors in total, and 159 compressed. Now I'd probably actually prefer if this tool didn't compress them, but yeah, because then you'd be able to write to it using a um, a tool that isn't this. Um, but you're still available on the net, you just search for Dave Dunfield image disk and you should be able to come across this quite easily. don't really know much else to say about it other than I just use it on a very very regular basis. Um, I probably should use raw write and raw read and that sort of stuff but this is what I do and yeah it's a good tool. I'll show you the alignment stuff. So we go A for a line into the disk. I'll do a little bit of analysis so it works out what type of disk it is. And you can see it's reading track 0. I can then change heads. And then I can move to track 20 by pressing 2. Go back and forward to track 19 plus. Seems really boring on a working drive, but when you're restoring a drive and you get that firing up, it's brilliant. You can also turn the beep on and off. Um, I don't think that's doing anything for me because it's reading reliably but that's really handy when you're adjusting alignment and the machine's actually running at the time because what I'll do is on drives that allow me to is I'll just very slightly nudge the head a little bit and then as soon as image just picks up a track it'll go beep and I know I've hit it stop, tighten the nut, have a look at what it's saying um, it's, it's a very rough way of doing it you should probably, I think the recommended way to do it is actually either with a proper alignment disc um, or at least an oscilloscope and you basically just connect across the correct head points and the um, the spikes on the oscilloscope when they're at their largest that's when you've got the alignment dead perfect um, but so far I've gotten away with just sort of getting it close although most of my best drives obviously are the ones that haven't had the alignment problems because they're still perfectly aligned so now back at that done that disc now I've got a whole bunch more to do um, oh, you can't 
see it on the video because I've put it on a damn tripod this time. They got lots of these little AIX originals, and they they look very dirty, but they don't have seem to have any bad sectors. Um, well, these ones are a lot worse. I'm pretty sure you what I mean by dirty. It's almost like we got wet. Um, now this will be a good exercise actually because I want to install the IBM RT at some stage. Uh, so yeah, I'm actually amazed these discs work. Nothing else to say really. So I hope you enjoyed this little tour into the image disc software.